tell us about Overrun and your character in the film. Yeah, so my character is Augie, uh, Marcus's friend, and basically Marcus gives me the call to uh, help him break into this government facility to uh, basically clear him and his friend's name. Um, and I'm basically the man behind the, uh, the computer, you know, um, helping him get through doors. I'm navigating uh, where he goes in the building and it's all kind of a mission to, uh, to, um, to get in and to uh, beat the bad guys. Worked on projects of all sizes. What was it about this particular film and character that stood out to you? Well, I've never done anything like this one before. Um, we kind of added some stuff to the character to make it fun for me. We made him super eccentric. Um, I'm kind of wearing this cool uni unicorn onesie in, uh, in the main scene where I'm helping him into the building. Uh, and it was just fun, you know? I got to spew out a bunch of technical terms that I didn't know anything about, and I got to learn a little bit about tech stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm not very good with tech, me personally. Um, so it was cool to play a character different from myself, yeah. There's a great um, dynamic between Augie and Marcus, and Augie really helps show this different side to, to Marcus. How did you and Omid prepare to tackle that relationship? You know, it was great. I absolutely love Omid. We go way, way back um, to the Thundermans. Uh, you know, he did a lot of stunts. Uh, he played uh, Dark Mayhem on the show, actually. Um, and of course, our wonderful director, Josh Tessier, uh, uh, headed the stunts on the Thundermans. And so he was the one who called me for this project. And I was absolutely uh, ecstatic and uh, didn't hesitate once to uh, to accept the role. So, uh, you know, we have that relationship. We go way back and we kind of just play it off of our natural um, banter with each other. And uh, yeah, made it made it work. It was it was really fun. This being such a different role for you, is there a scene that you're really excited for your fans to see? And which was the cha most challenging to film? Um. You know, there's a, I'm in a, a couple scenes and I think like I was saying, the main one where I'm helping him into the building. There's also one where we are, where we are kind of just chilling um, in my sort of secret hideout layer office uh, place. Um, and it was just fun. It was just more of a funny scene for us to shoot. Um, but, you know, I'm definitely by no means uh, the lead of this film. It's about Omid, it's about Marcus. Yeah. So I just kind of team up and, uh, I'm there to sort of push the story along, so. Yeah, what is it about independent filmmaking that excites you as an actor? That's a good question. Um, it's definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, a different feel from a studio film or, you know, a TV show. Um, you know, indies are made uh, with not a lot of money. And that is a really cool thing because a lot of people come out for the love of the art, you know, the love of what we're doing. Um, you know, we're, no one's there for a big payday, you know, no one's there um, for those material type reasons. Everyone's kind of there because they believe in the project and what it can do. You know, it's a lot of hours and a lot of time out of people's lives that they take to uh, make this project. And because it isn't made with a, a lot of money, you know, you know, people are there for the right reasons. It's a really cool sort of uh sort of feeling yeah it's a fun sort of i don't know like making a movie with your friends um there's a lot more it's a different feel on set you know you can joke around and you can it's kind of a more lax feeling it's still super professional of course um but it's definitely different in the, in the best way yeah yeah it, music plays a huge part in your life. If you had to pick a song that best either encompasses your character's arc in the film or the film itself, what would it be and why? I had a tiger, baby. Of course. <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of this uh, unachievable task to break into this uh, facility. So I think they just have the eye of a tiger the whole time. You know, I think Augie sort of heads up the operation and it's sort of out of his um it, it's um like one of the harder things that he's done you know he's not sure if he can even pull it off and i think that's kind of the main uh the main vibe yeah 
you guys shot this film in like 16 days. How beneficial was it having um, that prior relationship with Josh and Omid heading into this project? And how did that kind of lend itself to the performance that we see on screen? You know, it's always um, a different sort of, um, a different thing to capture when you are working with your friends. You know, it's super important that I had the relationship with, with Omid and, and Josh, you know, the, the trust is really there. You know, when you're making a movie, or a show, you know, trust is a big part of it. Um, trust in the crew, trust in the director. Um, you know, I am not so um, concerned with uh, how I look and stuff. I, I am a little bit, but I mean, for most actors, you know, you, you gotta have to trust that, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna look good and, and things are gonna look real and, and, and pro and so, to have that trust with Josh, um, with, with stunts specifically, um, you know, he's such a, uh, he's a physically capable guy. Um, and I didn't do much stunts uh, in this, this project, but um, just everything surrounding the production, you know, I, I had no worries at all. And um, Like I said, me and Omid had a great relationship and uh, it made it easy, you know, it made it fun. I actually shot this movie on my birthday. So it was oh, cool. a really good, really good birthday, yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what do you hope audiences take away after they see the film and what did you learn about yourself and your craft? Um, I hope they just have a good time. You know, I think uh, filmmakers and storytellers, you know, art imitates life and, you know, we want people to forget about their, their life for two hours. You know, I think that's why people dive into stories you know that's why we read books that's why we watch shows and movies to uh it's an escape you know it's this great escape from uh, all our everyday problems you know not to sound cynical but uh you know life is life can be a bunch of bullshit sometimes you know and uh that's why entertainment and the arts are so important um but uh i think i learned um i think i you know it, it like i said it wasn't a, a big part um, for me, like, like I said, it kind of just uh, teed the main story up, um, but it was a good practice to sort of jump into uh, a movie that was already going. Uh, sometimes it's hard to kind of fit, find your place and fit in when uh, a production is already mid-swing, you know? Um, but like I said about knowing everyone, it was just like, you know, it was just another day with, with my friends, you know, so, but it still was good practice to sort of just slide right into, to a, to a film, you know, not having any really preparation. Um, it was good practice for me, for sure. In addition to acting, you've also teased that you and your band will be releasing some new music soon. Is there anything that you can tease, uh, on the music front? Yeah, yeah, we'll be releasing our, our first ever single probably this month. Um, yeah, the band is called The Pretty Grits, and it's uh, my message to people is, you know, like I just mentioned earlier in your last question about, um, you know, what people take away. Um, it's an escape, right? And, uh, and my message to people is about the bullshit in life, you know, that there's certain silver lining that you can always uh, take away from that, and it's how you deal with your problems and uh you know not let them crush you and uh, make something beautiful out of it and that's why the band is called the pretty grit you know i i went through a lot in the past couple of years it's been four years actually since thunderman's ended and you know being able to put my experiences into songs and uh beautiful uh sounds has been super therapeutic for me um and like i said the the band is the pretty grit and it's kind of just turning the gritty things into something pretty yeah. yeah. Speaking of that process of like creating new music, what have you learned from that experience that you've been able to apply to the acting side of your talent? Um, I think one affects the other, you know. Um, it's been a, a few years since Thunderman's ended and I've always been interested in music but never was able to pursue it the way I wanted to. Not able to, but I just I was really involved in my in my acting and in Thundermans, you know, and so I just kind of did covers, you know, on the side and stuff. But when it ended, I really started diving into songwriting and I knew I was always interested in it. And it just started, you know, sort of started happening. And 
things started happening in my life that I wanted to get off my chest and, you know, make into something pretty, you know, because the gritty things, they can, uh, they can be the end of you if you don't deal with them the right way, you know. Um, but uh, absolutely one affects the other, you know, I wouldn't be able to, uh, you know, write what I write having not gone through certain hard times in the acting industry. Um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of rejection and like, you know, the blah, 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 blah thing. But it, it is really kind of hard on, you know, one's mental health. You know, you're going uh, audition after audition. And, uh, you know, it's different from music because in acting, you're, you're, you're trying to achieve this, this thing, being someone else, you know, and it takes, um, it takes obviously a lot of work and a lot of preparation, you know, and what's been cool about my music is that I don't have to be anyone else but myself, you know, and uh, it's been freeing and it's been liberating and rewarding. And I'm really excited to start the process of releasing and uh, having people listen to our stuff. And, you know, um, it's been nerve wracking, you know what I mean? Um, Cause I've never released music before. And when you're acting, it's like, Oh, here I am this other person. Um, but music it's like this this is me and so it, it is nerve-wracking but what I've kind of come to over the past year since the band started was you know do I like what I'm doing am I enjoying myself you know and once we started recording um, our songs I just started listening to our songs like every day like in the car and you know at home and really really liking the process and um you know it's it's all a journey you know it's it's not about sort of you know uh the end result but like the journey is is the reward you know but kind of to wrap it up i mean like i i think um as long as i like what i'm doing you know like i said i'm, I'm listening to our songs all the time and it's nerve-wracking thinking like oh like will people like it will people relate to it and like all that's out of my hands you know what i mean and uh i've kind of just accepted that hey like I like it, you know, and that's, that's good enough for me. So. Yeah. Final question for you. What was that process like deciding what would be your debut single? You know, it's still up in the air. We have a couple that we're kind of on the fence about. We, we, we think two are, are really, really strong. Um, and, uh, you know, we're still kind of deciding and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm excited either way, whichever one we choose, you know, we'll probably do a single, um, and then maybe a couple months later, do like a three or four song EP and then uh, do an album next year.